War Diary, day 609 of Russia's war against Ukraine. Winter is coming. It's cold now in Kyiv, where the sun's just come out. Last night when I arrived, it was raining and there was fog in the air. In the United States, the Republicans have elected a Speaker of the House, a man who's on several occasions voted against further military aid for Ukraine. In Britain, Brandon Lewis, a former government minister, has become the head of a company which is effectively owned by two Russian oligarchs who've been sanctioned for their links to the Kremlin. You get the picture? What's happening is that the Russian, Russia's agents in America, in Britain and beyond are managing to to send a message out ah, this war isn't that important it doesn't really matter listen the ukrainians they're they're corrupt they're kind of bad too it doesn't matter let you know enjoy the money feel the money smell the rubles no 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 what's happening is a terrible mistake the evil that Hamas perpetrated in Israel and the real fear that Israel under Benjamin Netanyahu will overreact. That's a terrible, terrible thing. It's a thing of evil, but it's also a distraction from what's happening here. And what's happening here is evil too. And if Russia wins here or gets a stalemate, which is kind of a victory for Vladimir Putin, then we're next. Remember, Ukrainians have taught us democracy must be defended. Free speech does not come free. Winter is coming. And the danger is Ukraine's allies are beginning to forget whose side they should be on. Oh, and Vladimir Putin, do fuck off.